we got to wait six. Good evening and welcome to the Township Committee meeting of March 24th. Mayor Thompson is away on business this evening and I will preside the meeting. Ms. Borak, please call the roll. Committee Delcor. Committee Woman McCauley. Here. Committee Mr. Rachi. Here. Deputy Mayor Burchette. Here. Mayor Thompson. Please join me to salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, that the notice of this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 on March 10th, 2015. First item tonight is approval of minutes. We have uh, minutes from February 24th, regular session. May I have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Second. Roll call. Mayor McCauley. Yes. Mayor Sirachi. Yes. Deputy Mayor Bichette. Yes. Okay. Reports from committee liaison and, re and receipt of reports and petitions and communications. First up will be committee woman McCauley. Thank you. Uh, just a few things this evening on the health update. Pursuant to New Jersey statute, Hillsborough Township is required to conduct a dog census at least every two years. The census will begin on or about May 1st, so you may have someone knocking on your door checking to see if you have a pet. Uh, this year the township will be utilizing animal control officers to conduct the canvas in conjunction with educating our residents about the importance of pet licensing. All dogs must be licensed annually once they reach uh, the age of seven months. In order to license your dog, the dog must have a rabies vaccine that is current for at least 10 months. Aside from it being New Jersey law, licensing your dog keeps your dog protected from the rabies virus and drastically improves the chances of a safe return to your animal in the event your dog goes missing. So we strongly encourage you to uh, license all of your dogs. First time dog licenses must complete the Municipal Animal License New Dog Application. It can be found on the Township website under eGov, along with the payment of proof of rabies vaccination and neutering. So again, please um, try and get your dog's license so we're aware of your animals in case uh, they go missing or otherwise. And the recreation update this evening, there's spring activities. Um, currently open for following uh, recreation programs is the spring activities, high school softball and soccer leagues, second annual fun run, uh, which is... May? Sunday, April 19th. April 19th, sorry, I didn't have the date. Okay. And uh, summer camp. So visit the recreation website should you want to participate in any of those activities. Thank you. Is it for me? Committee. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Deputy Mayor. Just a few items this evening. Uh, first, I just want to thank Woodfern School for allowing us to participate in their Read Across America. Um, I know myself, I know uh, Mayor Thompson was there. Mm -hmm. You were there too? No? Okay. Uh, got to read to a couple of the classrooms and uh, did a Q&A session and as always, that Q&A session is always interesting because they always ask some very interesting questions on what we do here because they may be hanging out some of their parents dry on some of the questions they asked me. So, um, Finance update. Uh, the State of New Jersey Division of Taxation has notified that uh, uh, that 2,944 Hillsborough property owners will be receiving a 2010 Homestead uh, benefit credits. And yes, 2012, the state certainly takes its time to get around with their Homestead rebates. But uh, uh, just to let those homeowners or property owners know um, that uh, anyone who did qualify that, they will be receiving a revised tax bill for the second quarter taxes uh, this week. So you'll see a credit on that. Uh, if uh, you're awarded a, uh, a rebate. Uh, if the taxes are paid by your mortgage company, the mortgage company will be notified of the credit and adjustments will be made to your escrow accounts as well. Uh, in that scenario, only an advise-only tax bill will be issued to those property owners. Uh, the eligibility criteria for a homestead rebate, um, one is obviously you need to be New Jersey residents that actually owns and occupies a home uh, during that uh, 
that calendar year uh, for which the homestead rebate is being applied for. Uh, and there are some other criteria with regards uh, to income limits. In, anyone interested in learning more information uh, about homestead uh, rebates can contact the uh, New Jersey Tax Office um, at 1-877-658-2972. Again, 1-877-658-2972. And lastly, just want to do a quick reminder again from our Memorial Day uh, parade, just to remind any community-based uh, nonprofit organizations that would like to march in the parade are invited to sign up online uh, through the Parks and Recreation website. That's all I have this evening there. Thank you, sir. All right, from the Municipal Alliance, uh, Life Skills presents a 15-minute child break on April 14th which is a free substance abuse prevention parent edu education program. It will be held at the Media Center of the Hillsborough Middle School. Also, be sure to check out this week's e-news as it will contain information about the parent learning community, which is also sponsored by the Municipal Alliance. Now we're going to move on to proclamations and presentations and appointments. We will now move on to the proclamations, and I ask for, after you receive your, your recognition, that you return to your seat, and we will take a brief pause after the presentations to allow you to allow for you to depart afterwards. You're more than welcome to, to uh, hang out for our exciting stuff that we do here afterwards, but uh, we will take a break after the proclamations. First up, proclamation honoring the Hillsboro High School swim teams. So I invite both the boys and girls teams to come forward. <laughs> Additionally, I have some exciting news to share with about one of the coaches. Coach Todd Sudall will be inducted into the New Jersey State Coaches Association Hall of Fame this Sunday for coaching. Congratulations, Coach, and we will be very honored to have you back and your teams. We're very honored to have you here this evening, and we're going to invite you back to give you a proclamation for your um, induction into the Hall of Fame. So if I may get the teams to come on up. All right, guys. Is this working? I got you guys look fantastic tonight. That's for sure. I love the ties. So, whereas the 2014-2015 Hillsboro High School girls and boys swim teams had a very successful season because of their hard work and dedication, and whereas the 2014-2015 Hillsboro High School girls and boys swim team were, were comprised of the following young athletes. So I'm going to pass this microphone around. You give your name and your stroke. 
and that means everybody. Adele Morgan, assistant coach. Denise, uh, oh, Denise Bevanito, backstroke. Monica Stamler, butterfly. Anushka Khanna, breaststroke. Megan Bull, I am. <laughs> Some furniture, show three backstroke. <laughs> Amanda Simon, breaststroke. Sam Babinski, freestyle. Erica Pepinito, pe freestyle. <laughs> Derek Kosadar, freestyle. Chris Salandra, freestyle. Sam Hendricks, freestyle. Hannah Sasan, freestyle. Kari Patain, butterfly. Rachel Karen, freestyle. Elena Swasan, I am. Jacob Gonzalez, breaststroke. Brad Zedroik, freestyle. Nicholas Gershfeld, butterfly. Danny Sanders, breaststroke. <laughs> Mike Irwin, breaststroke. <laughs> Ryan Morgan, freestyle. Alex Gonzalez, freestyle. James Mertens, butterfly. Eric, Eric Kohlenstein, butterfly. <laughs> Alex Temple, backstroke. Lily Pasalacqua, butterfly. Rhea Rustagi, freestyle. Uh, Christina Cho, backstroke. Alex Shaw, freestyle. Diana Baldev, butterfly. Todd Sudol, the proud head coach. <laughs> Daniel, Capitano, Daniel Capitano, butterfly. Freestyle. James Sisti, breaststroke. Carl Conrad, freestyle. Burton Wing, breaststroke. Matt Sanders, butterfly. Jack Hinst, freestyle. Manus Rajeshirke, backstroke. Ever Kevin Gibson, freestyle. Evan Morgan, freestyle. Juliana Parker, butterfly. Joshua Franco, backstroke. Wait, I got to shout out all the breaststrokers, too. We're going to miss you next year. <laughs> Keegan O'Brien, backstroke. Julian Manning, freestyle. <laughs> Emily Yang, breaststroke. Kathy Chen, freestyle. Ashley Yang, breaststroke. Catherine Wing, freestyle. Did we miss? Megan Tevnin, butterfly. Cindy Nee, freestyle. Give you all a Selzer hand. That's great. <laughs> Whereas the high school boys and girls swim teams were led by head coach Todd Sudall and assistant coach Adele Morgan, and whereas the high school girls swim team earned the title of Skyland Conference Champions, the boys swim team earned the titles of Somerset County Champions and Skyland Conference Champions. Both teams finished the seasons with a record of nine wins and one loss, and whereas the Hillsboro High School swim teams achieved the great success both on the team and individual level, including five consider considerations for the All-American time standards, six automatic All-American time standards, six state champions, and two Star Ledger State Swimmers of the Year. Members of the high school girls swim team set new school records in the 200-yard individual medley, the 100 fly. Members of the high school boys team set new school records in the 100-yard freestyle and the 200-yard freestyle. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsboro do hereby commend all the members of the Hillsboro High School boys and girls swim teams, not only for the awards and championships they have won, but also for their unwavering teamwork, dedication, and sportsmanship throughout the season. Be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee, further commend the boys and girls swim team for the honor that they have brought to themselves their teams, and to our community through their many achievements. Thank you.
All right, we've got this down now. Moms and dads, you want to come up with pictures? The way it works. All right, everybody. Everybody, everybody, pay attention here. Everybody, look left. Um, I didn't know you only had three people here. Two thirds. Okay. Everybody look forward. Phone or, uh, I don't know where they are, but. Um. Okay, everybody look right. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? Um, Nancy said you, I just talked to Nancy. She said, you know, she's trying to work around it. And everybody look right. Congratulations. Do we have a representative for our uh, Read Across America? Whereas the citizens of Hillsborough Township stand firmly committed to promoting reading as a catalyst for our students' future academic success, their preparation for America's jobs of the future, and their ability to compete in a global economy. And whereas Hillsborough Township has provided significant leadership in the area of community involvement in the education of our youth, grounded in the principle that educational investment is key to our community's well-being and long-term quality of life, and whereas NEA's Read Across America, a national celebration of reading, was conducted on March 2nd, 2015, which would have been the 111th birthday of Theodore Seuss Geisel. Geisel? Geisel. I knew I was going to do that wrong. <laughs> Better known as Dr. Seuss. And whereas Read Across America is being conducted statewide by the State of New Jersey Education Association in partnership with the New Jersey State League of Municipalities, the New Jersey Library Association, and their local affiliates across the state to promote reading and adult involvement in the education of our community students. Therefore be it proclaimed by the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough, call on all citizens of Hillsborough Township to assure that every child has a safe place reading together with a caring adult. Be it further proclaimed that the township committee of the township of Hillsborough enthusiastically endorses NEA's Read Across America and Read Across America NJ and recommits our community to engage in programs and activities to make America's children the best readers in the world. Thank you for your participation. All the work it takes to put together, I know. Thank you so much. I, I, I got that feeling. Um, I want to thank the, the mayor, the township council, and um, all, the, all the years of going into our schools and reading out loud. I think I was at Woodford the day after you. And, um, I, we should need to get it at the high school. We need to get readers to come into our classes there. Um, and we really do appreciate the support you have for our public schools and for reading in general. 
And I'd like to remind students, spring break's next week. The library's just down the way. Go get a book so you have something to do over spring break. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Can we get Laura Ferretti to come up? Whereas Lori Ferretti has received the honor of Auden Road Intermediate Schools Education Services Professional of the Year for 2015. And whereas Ms. Ferretti has been a speech and language specialist at Auden Road Intermediate Schools since 2009. And whereas Ms. Ferretti has been a member of the Hills Girls School District fa faculty since 2005, beginning as a speech correctionist at Triangle Elementary School. And whereas Ms. Ferretti is also a distinguished member of the American Speech and Hearing Association, and whereas Ms. Ferretti is an active member of, Hills School, of the Hillsborough community, now, therefore, be it proclaimed by the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough that Laura Ferretti, Lori Ferretti, is hereby recognized for her leadership and ability in aiding her students with their communication skills as well as collaborating with parents, teachers, and other professionals to make certain that students succeed academically. Be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee, Further commend Lori Ferretti for being recognized as the Auten Road Intermediate Schools Educational Services Professional of the Year, and we thank her for all her work and dedication to the youth of Hillsborough. I just wanted to thank everybody, and this is the first year that that the Educational Service Provider Award has been opened, so people who give things like speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy can now be recognized as well as our school nurses. So thank you very much. Jessica Fox here. Whereas Jessica Fox has received the honor of Hillsborough Elementary School's Educational Services Professional of the Year for 2015, and whereas Ms. Fox has been the media specialist at Hillsborough Elementary School for the past three years. And whereas Ms. Fox has been a member of the Hillsborough School District faculty since 2011. And whereas Ms. Fox also serves as a district turnkey trainer, assisting colleagues by providing professional development opportunities for teachers who are looking for new ways to infuse technology into their classrooms. And whereas Ms. Fox is a gifted educator who does her best to instill an early love of learning and appreciation of literature in her K through four students and collaborates with teachers to identify print and digital materials to, en to enhance their lessons. Now therefore, be it proclaimed by the mayor and the township committee of the township of, Hills of Hillsborough that Jessica Fox is hereby recognized for her leadership and ability to foster the love of literature and for collaborating with colleagues to design lessons and foster learning situations that employ new technologies and teaching strategies. Be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee, further commend Jessica Fox for being recognized as the Hillsborough Elementary School's Educational Services Professional of the Year, and we thank her for all her work and dedication to the youth of Hillsborough. Congratulations. Um, 
I just want to say thank you to the Township Committee for taking the time to recognize me. It's quite an honor, and I'm so happy to accept this as a representative for all of the hardworking and caring educators at Hillsborough Elementary School. I'm very fortunate to work in a school with caring colleagues and enthusiastic students. I look forward to spending many more rewarding years working within the Hillsborough Township School District. Thank you. Yes, it still works. When you dropped it. <laughs> We'd like to take this time just to let the, everybody know that the pictures from tonight will be available on the E! News. Uh, you can sign up for the E! News on the Hillsborough website. Uh, Ruth Stanley. Whereas Ruth Stanley, am I pronouncing that properly, has received the honor of Woodfern Elementary School's Educational Services Professional of the Year for 2015. They give you guys long titles. Miss <laughs> Stanley has been a nurse for more than 30 years and a certified school nurse since 1999. And whereas Miss Stanley has worked in Hillsborough School District for over 18 years in many different roles, including school nurse, substitute teacher, bus aide, and positions in the summer enrichment program and the extended school year program. And whereas, Miss Stanley has been the school nurse at Woodfern Elementary School since September of 2014. And whereas, Miss Stanley began her school nursing career as a long-term substitute nurse at Woods Road School Elementary School before becoming the permanent school nurse there from 2001 to 2011. From 2011 until 2014, Ms. Stanley was a traveling nurse between Hillsborough Middle School and Otten Road Intermittent School before moving into her current position at Woodfern Elementary School. And Ms. Stanley is active at the Somerset County Nurses Association, New Jersey State School Nurses Association, and the National School Nurses Association in various positions, including President of the County School Nurses Association and Treasurer of the State School Nurses Association. Now, there, therefore, be it proclaimed by the Mayor and the Township Committee of the Township of Hillsborough that Ruth Stanley is hereby rec recognized for her effort in meeting the needs of our district's students by helping students stay healthy in school and ready to learn. Be it further proclaimed that we, the Mayor and the Township Committee, further commend Ruth Stanley for being recognized as the Woodfern Elementary School's Educational Services Professional of the Year and we thank her for all her work and dedication to the youth of Hillsborough. I just want to thank the mayor and the township committee for this honor and for my colleagues at Woodfern Elementary School for nominating me for this ex um, extraordinary honor after being there for such a short time. Thank you. Okay, at this time we'll take a short break. You're more than welcome to stay and listen to all our fun stuff after this, but uh, we'll take about a five minute break. I was trying to text you and everyone was. Okay. Okay, we're back on the record. Um, we don't have any new business tonight, so. We're going to move on to considerations. Number one, resolution authorizing the execution of the agreement with Morris County Cooperative Pricing Council to become a member of, for the period of April 1st, 2015 through March 30th, 2020. The Morris County Co Cooperating Pricing Council affords members, member municipalities substantial savings on various goods and services through the cooperative public bidding. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? No. Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Freeman Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Correct. 
Do uh, we have any public comment tonight besides what's on the agenda? Seeing none, we'll move on. Number two. Uh, Res dep yeah, Deputy Mayor, the resolution number two, increasing the 2015 temporary emergency budget, that's going to require two-thirds vote, so we're going to have to table that for this evening, and we'll have to move on to uh, resolution number three. Thank you, Mr. Willard. Number three, resolution authorizing township attorney to enter into stipulations of settlement relative to the tax appeals, caption, toll, New Jersey, LP versus Hillsborough Township, Tax Court of New Jersey, docket numbers 014158-2011 and 014163-2011. The township's tax appeal attorney and tax assessor have recommended a settlement regarding the above reference tax appeal a negotiated settlement was reached in which the 2011 assessment will be reduced, which is at a nominal amount. This is a fair settlement for, for the township and will reduce the future expenditures and legal fees associated with this appeal. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Committee Woman McCauley. Yes. Freeman Sirachi. Yes. And Deputy Mayor Bichette. Yes. Number four, resolution authorizing extension of contract between the Township of Hillsborough and the Central Jersey Housing Resource Center for Affordable Housing Administration Services. This resolution authorizes a 90-day extension for the above-mentioned contract. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Mayor McCauley. Yes. Mayor Sirachi. Yes. Deputy Mayor Bichette. Yes. Moving on to the consent agenda. May I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Ms. Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. May I have a motion to approve the claims list 2015-07? So moved. Second. Roll call. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Am I concluding the meeting or are we going? Um, there's a resolution on Mr. Deputy Mayor for an executive session, one of which involves a personnel matter involving Mr. Ward. We received material from Mr. Ward this afternoon indicating that he wished the discussion relative to his employment status to be in public session and therefore I would ask that the matter be removed from the executive session and placed now on the agenda following the vote now on the claims list. Okay, we devote on that? Do we have to make a motion? Uh, make a motion uh, with regards to the recommendation of uh, for attorney, Mr. Bernstein. Second. Roll call. Commissioner McCauley? Yes. Commissioner Sirachi? Yes. And Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. Mr. Mayor, I believe Mr. Ward is here this evening uh, along with the union representative and I believe counsel on his behalf. Yes, if he sir. wishes to be heard on the matter uh, relative to whatever information he wants to advise the governing body, he's more than welcome. Are you, are you Microphone. Ready? Your name and who you represent. My name is Brandon Burke. I'm from the law firm of Montgomery Chapin and Fenton on behalf of Mr. Ward with respect to the letter that he received on March 20th, 2015, uh, inviting him to come here tonight, discuss the terms and conditions of his employment. Very good. Mr. Burke, uh, your client underwent a medical examination on behalf of the municipality that I have not had an opportunity to discuss with the client. This is the evening I intended to discuss with them. We advise your client if he wants to advise us of anything prior to any deliberations and attorney-client privilege my client wishes to enter into as to his medical situation. So if there's anything you want to put on the record, otherwise uh, I will be discussing the outcome of that report, et cetera, with my client after this uh, in the executive session. Well, Mr. Ward submitted throughout the course of his employment with the township letters dated September 16th. Excuse me, Council. Councilor. Do you mind speaking into the microphone? You might want you might you want to pull, raise the, it pull, like. pull the mic out of the, out of the stand <laughs> if you'd like. It'd be easier, probably, okay. Brandon, only Thank because. You. Yeah, that or raise it up. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Mr. Ward submitted letters to the township dated September 16, 2013, December 10, 2013. Hold on a second. Check one, two. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Should I face the camera? Or? No, no you don't have to. It's just. Uh, Mr. Ward submitted letters to the council, uh, excuse me, to the township dated September 13th, uh, September 16th, 2013, and followed up with letters dated December 10th, 2013, April 10th, 2014, and December 4th, 2014. Um, he took his first uh, FMLA leave day on October 2nd, 2013, and on December 19th, 2013, after two months of FMLA leave, he received a merit-based increase to his salary. Um, he thereafter went on FMLA leave, which he took one Wednesday, uh, excuse me, each Wednesday up to um, recently, uh, the last two Wednesdays, he was required to take sick leave and pursuant to the FMLA, leave, uh, the FMLA statute, he is permitted to take 60 days in a one year period and there's varying ways to measure that, which I can address uh, if council would like, um, but the bottom line is that there's only 52 weeks in a year. He's entitled to 60 days. He's only taken one day per week, and therefore he has not exceeded the leave uh, permitted to him under the FMLA leave, uh, statute. And he's s complied with every request um, from, su from his supervisors uh, with respect to maintaining a professional opinion from Dr. Neiman's practice with respect to his ongoing condition. He did undergo a um, functional capacity examination this past Friday, and under the FMLA statute, because the two reports disagree, Mr. Ward and the council are obligated to uh, negotiate in good faith to come together and ascertain a third opinion um, to determine whether or not Mr. Ward can continue in this capacity. And um, if you need to discuss that with your client, should we come back on another day to resolve this? Well, just for the record, Counselor, your client was advised m weeks ago after a meeting between himself, the union, and the chief financial officer as to what time he still had remaining on his FMLA, of which that is really a, a sort of a tangential issue to the matter at hand. Uh, I will be advising the governing body regarding the report and related matters, and I'm assuming if I get direction from them, I'll contact your office or somebody from the township will contact your client. We'll go from there. But until then, your client's out on paid leave, irrespective of the FMLA. So would that be short-term disability? He's right now on fully paid leave using no time. And how, what is the duration of that? When the client, at least through tonight, and when the client tells me beyond that. Okay. So we're just waiting to hear from yourself waiting to hear from either myself or whoever the governing body designates to contact you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. We will now move into, uh, let's see. So we do have executive sessions yes, tonight. We do. Yes, Pam. If you can read the executive session resolution. Resolution. Sure. Whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975 permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas the Township Committee is of the opinion that such circumstances exist, now therefore be resolved by Township Committee of Township Hillsborough and the County of Somerset, State, New Jersey, as follows. Number one, the public shall be excluded from discussion of the hearing after specified subject matter. Number two, the general nature of the subject matter to be discussed is as follows, attorney-client privilege. Number three, the attorney, the uh, township committee may take official action on those items discussed in executive session upon the completion of the executive session. And number four, the minutes of the discussions shall be made available to the public as soon as the matters under discussion are no longer of a confidential or sensitive nature. And number five, this resolution shall take effect immediately. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Roll call. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Yes. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Yes. We will now move into executive session.